So there's a lot of debate on what machines you should use when you're first starting your print farm. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you what machines I use and how I made that decision. So let's get started. So what I have here is my Bamboo P1 series machines. Now I realize my print farm is relatively small compared to what you see on a lot of these videos and I'll kind of get into that a little later in this video. But what I have here is two P1S machines up top and a P1P down below. Now in my workshop here, my wall space is very limited, so I wanted to have one corner of my shop dedicated to my 3D printing business. So here I am, my custom enclosure is about four feet wide, two levels, and I can have up to six machines in this. I kind of designed that, to, it's gonna be a tight, tight squeeze, but I can do up to six machines in this space, so I, I have room to kind of double, double my machine quantity as it is right now. So that being said, let's jump into the first reason why I chose these Bamboo P1 series machines, and that is the AMS system. So here on the left side of my enclosure, I have my AMS system. Now, what is great about this AMS system, in a way, it makes one 3D printer act like four. And what I mean by that is you can have four colors loaded up in the machine all at one time. Now, my old setup when I was using my Ender 3s, I would, I self four different colors on my Etsy shop of my different 3D printed products. So what I'd have to do is I had two under threes going and when I get different color orders, depending on what I had loaded up, I'd always have to switch the filament, which is kind of a hassle doing that. So with this AMS system, it kind of eliminates that. So what I can do is I can have all my four colors loaded up at any time. It doesn't matter what color of order I get. I can just come right on over if I don't have it already pre-made. Uh, choose the file and start printing, super easy to do, and it's a, it's a huge time saver as far as running a small business. Another reason why I wanted this AMS system is the ability to do multicolor prints. Now currently I only sell single color prints, but in the future I'd like to get into multicolor prints. I feel like you could probably charge a premium depending on the product uh, using multicolor because it is kind of a uh, newer technology, I guess a lot of people might not have it. So I kind of want to be future-proof in that aspect of things is being able to do the multicolor. Now another thing I love about this AMS system is the footprint of it. It just sits right on top of the machine and doesn't use any horizontal space, which is great. I made my enclosure tall enough on this top level so you can open and close it freely, load up the filament, and it is going to allow me to do three machines with three AMS systems in the future without needing any more uh, horizontal space, I guess. Moving on to the second reason why I chose these Bamboo P1 machines is the speed of the printing. I know for myself when I first got my Ender 3 and I printed probably a Benchy or whatever, and it took five, six hours, and I was kind of surprised like how slow this process really is. You read about it, but until you actually get the machine, uh, you're kind of surprised on, on that process. Well, Bamboo has kind of changed those things. For most of the items I print and sell, these machines are three to four times faster than my Ender 3s were. I know there is a debate, why don't you just get three Ender 3s instead of one of these machines for the price difference? And for my situation, that is not ideal. So how the speed really benefits me is say I get an order during the day, I can come home, I can print some up quick, a lot of my prints take one to two hours, and I can have it in the mail that same day. And I know customers really appreciate the faster the shipping, everyone wants their item as soon as possible. So the speed of these machines allows me to do that. Also, it allows me to do multiple prints in one evening. So with the Ender 3, basically if I got home from work, I'm starting to print, I'm not getting that thing until the next morning. It's going, <laughs> it's going into the night, so there's no hope of that. These machines, I can get a print going. I can a lot of times maybe even get three prints going for the last one kind of going overnight. And it really helps cut down on my shipping times and the products I ship. Also the speed of these machines does not affect the quality at all. In fact, the quality is much better in my opinion than the Ender 3's print. So these come with these magnetic build plates, which the bottom of your print just looks amazing. I used to use glass beds and hairspray and look at the bottom of the print and it was like, eh, not that great. But these look so professional when I send out a product that, and I'm sure I could probably get these build plates for the enders too, but these build plates and the finished product of these machines is just incredible. Also the speed of these machines has allowed me to do some items that normally I wouldn't even sell because they would just take too long to print. I have one item that I think it's about 420 grams of filament takes a little over nine hours to print on this. 
I don't, so you're looking at over a day to print on the enders or a traditional style 3D printer. I probably wouldn't even sell an item that took that long to print. Moving on to the next reason why I purchased these bamboo machines is just how easy they are to control by your phone in the app. So what this phone app allows me to do are a few things. One thing that I love is the built-in camera system. Now my old setup with my Ender 3s, I had a bunch of wise cams kind of facing the machine so I can kind of see what's going on. Well, these bamboos have built-in cameras that go right to the app so you can kind of see what's going on at all times. Another super handy thing about this app is it gives you warnings if anything is going wrong. Now I've only had a few kind of quirky things that have gone wrong with these machines so far, but the main thing that you run into is when you run out of filament. Now if I know I'm gonna be close to running low on filament, I'm not gonna start printing and then leave. I'm gonna kind of be around, so I'm kind of checking the app uh, to see exactly when I run out of filament. And these machines have been incredible about when they do run out of filament, reloading, starting right from where they left off. And then when you look at the print, it's, it's not noticeable where, where you made the break. As long as you're using the same color of filament, the same brand, obviously. But it's kind of a pretty flawless transition for most of the items I print. If I'm doing a, a great big item, I'm gonna make sure I have plenty of filament. For kind of the smaller ones, you're not gonna notice. And it's, uh, it's nice to be able to use all those uh, rolls of filament and not have all these extra laying around. So that's really convenient. What's also great about the app system is starting prints from the app. Now, I usually am at these machines to start the print from the screens, but as I'm kind of figuring this app out more and more, to be able to start a print uh, just from the app, or you can do it on the computer software as well, and kind of avoid these screens, because to me, these screens are the, the downfall of these machines. The screens, I don't know, are, aren't very, aren't very gr good. Uh, much cheaper machines have nice colored touch screens, and their high-end machines, or machine, I think it's XC1, has that and that's probably why they want you to, if you want that screen, you gotta move up to that. So uh, all in all, that app is an incredible. It makes running multiple machines very easy. So I have my machines named after uh, Andy Griffith's show characters. So it keeps it easy instead of just naming them one, two, three. So I know, I don't know exactly what machines is what in the app. So really convenient that way. Now moving on to the next reason why I chose these Bamboo P1Ss over other machines is their enclosures. Now how these machines come with these built-in enclosures are really incredible for two reasons. First, it's gonna keep all the dust and the grime of the workshop away from it. So I do a lot of different stuff in my workshop from woodworking, welding, laser cutting, 3D printing, so a lot goes on. So it's incredible kind of keeping this machine all enclosed and keeping that dust and debris off of it. So I kind of have a double layer setup with my print farm where I have an enclosed machine inside an enclosure, so kind of double layer protection. But the second thing, and this is kind of the key for my setup for this enclosure, is it keeps the heat of the print inside the machine. So I live in a cold climate. My workshop is not heated 24 seven. So a lot of times that enclosure is cold, that my big enclosure that I made. So I kind of have a few different ways around that. I use, I have a big propane uh, wall mounted heater to heat the whole shop as well as some small little electric space heaters to heat the enclosure themselves. So I try to get my kind of custom enclosure up to 50 before I start these things. But once I get that outside air temperature to that, uh, these machines kind of take over and the heated bed is going to keep those temperatures uh, nice and constant throughout the print. Now one concern I did have for my situation was this roll of filament on the side. What I worried that I was going to be fine inside the machine printing, but that filament was going to be too cold going into the machine. But what I've kind of learned is the tube that goes in the machine, it takes a while for the filament out here to actually be hitting that hot end. So I believe this filament kind of gets inside that machine as it goes to a tube. It's slowly warming, warming, warming from the heated enclosure. And then it's perfectly fine once it hits that hot end. And I haven't had any issues with these enclosure machines with cold temperatures. All the prints have turned out really well. So all in all, love the enclosure machines. Now I do have that P1P that's not enclosed. I'm probably gonna, I don't know, maybe add something. I know you can add these add-on kits for these machines, but I'm kind of future proof in that, so if I get more machines, I have to have in my setup, I have to have ones closest to the wall. Well, these doors, as far as I can tell, and let me know if you know differently, they can only open the one way, 
which isn't ideal for my situation. I wish you could open it the other way. If, you, if they can be switched, please let me know because uh, I, I would do that in my situation. But I'm gonna need a couple of the uh, non-enclosed machines on the edges of my enclosure there. So now we're gonna move on to the last reason I show these bamboo machines, and that is the price. So price really is always gonna be an issue when you're getting into something like this. So we'll go through these prices real quick and kind of compare it to others. So this P1P, this is gonna be before taxes and shipping. I believe I paid 450. The P1S without the AMS was 550. I think those are both maybe a little on sale. And then this P1S with the AMS system was I believe 850. So I don't think I got that one on sale. Can't remember exactly, but those are gonna be around those prices. Plus I think 30 bucks shipping. And then it's gonna be with tax, depending on where you live. So those are kind of the prices of these machines. So let's discuss, is that a lot, is that a little? So basically from what I could gather, there's three main machines people are gonna start a farm with. It's gonna be Prusas, it's gonna be Ender 3s, or now it's gonna be Bamboo. The biggest hit I saw in the Bamboos were that they just haven't been around long enough. So how long are they gonna last? So, which is kind of a concern. But they've kind of been around, in my opinion, long enough where people have really tested these things where they've held up. So that kind of led me that direction a little bit. So let's talk about the other two, two items. So first, the Prusas were, I think, the main print farm machines. They are known for quality, reliability, and I definitely looked into those. But the price point for what you got definitely higher than these bamboos. So all these companies really have a bunch of different uh, levels. So there's cheaper bamboos, they're more expensive bamboos, same with Perusa. But kind of the comparable for these machines, like so if you're comparing this at 550, for the Perusa version, you're, you could be double that, depending on exactly which, which one you choose. So you're almost looking at maybe getting two machines for the equivalent price of a Perusa machine. Now also you could look the other way. You could say, hey, could I get three Ender 3s? Uh, maybe around $200 a piece, depending if you want upgrades or whatever, you can go more. But you know, am I better off with just a whole sea of Enders? And I kind of talked about that a little bit earlier in the video. Well, to me, this is kind of the sweet spot in the middle. So time will really tell how well these things hold up. But for me, at the price point, getting the enclosed machines, it, Kind of hard to beat the, the quality of the print, the speed of the print, the app, all that stuff I talked about earlier in the video has all come down and led me to go with bamboo, jumping on the bamboo bandwagon as far as starting my print farm. Now, if you have any questions on this video, please leave them in that comment section below. Also love to hear what machines you would choose if you're starting a print farm or if you have a print farm, how many machines do you have? What do you use? I'm always looking for information. So I'm kind of Set on going with bamboo, but hey, I'm always open to hearing other opinions as well. So as always, I'm Chad from Chad DIY, and we'll see you on the next one.